really both. So we know that there's a genetic predisposition, but they uh, are probably a variety of environmental triggers. Uh, there's been a lot of focus on viruses because MS is not so common at the equator and more common in, in northern uh, temperate latitudes where viruses are more prevalent. Uh, the monovirus like Epstein-Barr virus uh, has been studied for many, many years and there's some new data suggesting that uh, kids who get MS uh, may have particularly abnormal responses to that virus so they don't clear it as well and they have higher uh, antibodies uh, to the virus. Another really interesting area of research is vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Right. And so, uh, of course, uh, as I just said, that at the equator where there's more sun, there's less MS, and one of the characteristics of, of northern damp latitudes and you know, coastal areas where there's a lot of MS, like on the mid-Atlantic northeast of the U.S. and the west coast uh, of the U.S., is uh, less sunlight exposure. And it turns out that uh, vitamin D is not only good for your bones, but it's very important for regulating immune cells. And there's a lot of exciting research going on trying to understand how uh, we could use vitamin D to actually uh, perhaps treat MS.